Crown Prince of Christmas is a 2022 film written and directed by Anthony C. Ferrante. And it's an interesting idea. And I do like the character of Sebastian. I have no feelings about Madison. I didn't mind watching it, but when I reflect on it, nothing happened. It's a very mundane narrative, but I think because I really liked Sebastian, it was enough to keep me engaged. Madison works in a hotel and her family is certain that her colleague Sebastian is actually this prince. And Sebastian and Madison decide to just play along with it. And Sebastian pretends to be this prince. And then they have to kind of keep up the pretense when they're invited to Madison's house to have some Christmas celebrations. But there's something very regal about Sebastian. Is he just pretending to be a prince? I won't say any more than that just now. But I will say it's an interesting concept. It's a little bit different from the usual prince-based Christmas films. And it is a really interesting concept. I think whoever came up with the idea definitely had something that could have been a potential winner. But the actual events within the film are so dull. We basically have the characters visiting Madison's family for dinner. Uh, It went on far longer than it needed to. And the rest of the narrative basically focuses on Sebastian to encourage Madison to have more confidence in her singing. And that's it. That's all that happens. It is very dull. But I really liked Sebastian as a character and I was keen to see what would happen with his character. And as a concept, it is quite interesting. But the execution is just really dull. And yet at the same time, I didn't hate watching it. And it's it's confused me a little bit with how I feel because a narrative this uneventful, even for a Christmas rom-com, shouldn't have kept me that engaged. But it did, so I can't completely fault it. But there are very few specific things that I can actually praise. If, in general, you like the regal-based Christmas films, then I'd say give it a go. But if you're just looking for a really engaging Christmas film, I don't think this one's going to be a very good option. But nevertheless, I didn't hate it. It could have been significantly better. But at the same time, it wasn't terrible. And I really like Sebastian as a character, so that really helped. Not a perfect film. Definitely a film that's a little twist on the classic story. I mean, it's not a tremendous twist, but it's just ever so slightly different. But other than that, it's fine. It definitely needed something else in the narrative to keep it interesting. Madison as a character is fine, but I didn't particularly care for her. Sebastian, uh, I really liked. We have uh, Cindy Busby as Madison and Jilon Vanover as Sebastian. I apologize if I've mispronounced that. I'm sure I definitely have. The acting is is fine and the casting's fine. The romantic leads work really well together on screen. I think they have a great chemistry. The mystery element, I thought, was quite good. But the actual events in the film are basically non-existent. So not the best narrative. Definitely could have been better. But it's still a watchable film.